The way the universe is created in No Man's Sky, the way everything is created, is this term that we use, procedural, right? And we're like really picky about that. We're, we say it's not random, right? Because random to me is this like chaotic kind of mess potentially. But procedural is like creating mathematical formulas, right? And they create a result. Um, so we create algorithms that, that do things like decide if a planet is the right distance from the sun. And if it is, then it would have water. And so we generate water on that planet and that creates rivers and it creates lakes and oceans potentially. Um, but then it also creates moisture in the atmosphere. Then that will affect the color of the sky because the wavelength of the light is being diffracted in different ways to create different colors, just like in, in our world. You might encounter, say, a mountain um, and on that mountain there might be a tree or a particular rock beside the tree, right? And that is there, and that mountain is there, and that tree is there on top of the mountain because there is effectively a mathematical formula, and the result of that formula will always be the same. So when you go and visit that mountain, you will always see that tree there. And if another player goes and visits that same mountain, they will see that exact same tree in the exact same place but it's not stored on the, the disk. It's not stored in the cloud. Um, it's just generated there and then on the fly. When you fly away, we just throw that data away. We, we throw away that mountain, we throw away that tree. Um, but if you fly back, it will be there again um, because it is just following this, this this pattern. So when you put in the same inputs, which is just, I am here at this point in the world, you will always get the same output, which is the mountain in that exact same position or the rock that's on top of that mountain, down to the like blade of grass. It will always be in the exact same place. We generate the entire planet at like quite a low level of detail. Um, so when you look up and you see it kind of hanging there in the horizon, you can make out and mountains and hills and canyons. And if you get into your ship and you fly into space and you fly towards that planet, as you get closer and closer to it, we will generate higher and higher detail. Um, and as you come in to land on it, we begin to generate like the highest levels of detail. Pretty much everything you see, plants, trees, spaceships, and of course the wildlife too, is all unique. Each one is literally one of a kind in the entire universe. How? Well, it's kind of like a character creation menu. So each base piece in the world, be it a dinosaur or a tree or a spaceship or whatever, has the equivalent of little sliders for every characteristic. So for the game to create variety, all it needs to do is move them. Our artists might create a cat. Um, and from that cat, they will also be creating every type of lion and every type of uh, tiger, but also things that are much more kind of wild and, and mutated from that. All of those creatures, all of the ships that you see in the sky and the freighters and things like that, they're all following what we would call like a fractal pattern. So, and they're just, again, following like a mathematical formula. Um, so we don't simulate them. And that means that if you're on a planet and you see a creature doing something like that, and then you fly away and you come back, it will be a little bit further along that pattern, basically. In the time I spent talking to Sean, one thing struck me over and over again about the world they're creating. Due to the layers and layers of simple algorithms, they've created a complicated and mathematically chaotic system, more so than the sum of its parts. And for me, this is the perfect example of chaos theory. Changing just one thing in the code has inherently unpredictable results. And this is both the challenge that they need to overcome, but also what gets me so excited about the future of No Man's Sky. So I will make a rule that say, there should be little flowers around the base of a tree, right? And I'll think that's a good rule. And then I like propagate that to the main branch and suddenly there are flowers around the base of every tree on like every planet, right? And that's cool, um, except it has like horrible knock-ons, right? And 
I realized that I'm an idiot, <laughs> that I'm not a god, <laughs> and this was a terrible rule, and suddenly all the creatures are going crazy and they're trying to eat around the base of trees and they're eating flowers and things like that, um, and, and so yeah, you break the universe horribly because you have this, this ridiculous power. You've got loads of simple rules, they all, each has a cause and effect, but you find it impossible to predict what they're going to result in because there's a whole bunch of them. Even just with like half a dozen rules, it suddenly becomes really hard to predict what's going to happen.